why INFJs often expend too much energy emotionally, and how to do more self-care. The INFJ personality type, one of the 16 in the Myers-Briggs system, is renowned for its extreme empathy and creativity. We have a strong desire to help others, which has earned us the moniker the counselor type. We value spending time with the people in our lives and cherish going deep in our connections. In many respects, INFJs prioritize people over anything else. We are the companion or friend that will put everything on hold to assist you, even if doing so costs us something. INFJs frequently prioritize others above themselves. And because of how frequently this saps our energy, it becomes difficult for us to serve others while also helping ourselves. Although INFJs are not the only personality type to experience emotional weariness and burnout, it is a prevalent issue that nearly all INFJs deal with at some point in their lives. We are susceptible to it since we have a number of personality qualities. Let's examine why emotional weariness affects INFJs more often, and why self-care is so important for this personality type. Why INFJs often expend too much energy emotionally. If you're an INFJ, you've probably experienced the emotional load that friends, family, and even complete strangers have placed on you. We can pick up on the inner workings of others around us thanks to the introverted intuition an extroverted feeling of the INFJ, a trait we frequently use when interacting with friends and family. People frequently regard us as safe people to open out to because of our quiet and collected style of being in the world. In other words, INFJs frequently receive the call following a painful breakup, a major disease diagnosis, or simply a dreadful week that has been too much to handle. Even while we value the depth of our relationships, engaging in them can be extremely draining. Our legs will eventually begin to tremble under the weight of the loads on our hearts if we can't find a way to release them. INFJs are prone to absorbing other people's feelings in addition to having a tendency to become emotional garbage dumps. In other words, we don't merely perceive other people's emotions, we also begin to experience them for ourselves. INFJs are frequently empaths and very sensitive people, which helps to explain why they are frequently a sponge for other people's emotional states. INFJs frequently find it extremely difficult to avoid being affected by a loved one's distressing feelings. And how can we possibly refuse all the requests for assistance we receive? And since INFJs frequently struggle with boundaries, it can be quite challenging to keep our emotions separate from those of others. Our own burdens become heavier as we shoulder those of others. The perfect storm of emotional weariness is formed when you combine these factors with our introverted sensitivity to being drained by things like parties, classes, and other social activities where we're frequently misunderstood for extroverts. The INFJ must learn to practice self-care as a daily habit if we are to be able to love as deeply, help as effectively, and live as fully as we want. 5 INFJ Self-Care Strategies Here are some of the responses I got when I asked INFJs what their ideal self-care activities would be. 1. Sleep For everyone, whether they are INFJ or not, Sleep is undoubtedly the most significant self-care activity. Unfortunately, the majority of people ignore it. But when we sleep, our bodies and minds are rejuvenated. There's a reason why being sleep-deprived makes our emotions more intense. After a day, we haven't given our brains enough time to rest. Take a nap or sleep in if you haven't had enough sleep. There is no self-care activity that can replace sleep. 2. Workout some of my pals enjoy going for a long walk, run, or yoga session in the morning. Everyone is aware that exercise is beneficial to health for the same reasons that sleep is. Exercise releases the wonderful endorphins we all need more of and improves our ability to think properly. Exercise affects several brain regions, including our emotional and logical centers, which aids with thinking consolidation. This results in that mental clarity or runner's high. If you're feeling down both emotionally and mentally, 
this can be a terrific mood booster. 3. Put out effort. Being creative has a certain way of elevating our mood. INFJs sometimes find themselves putting off accomplishing certain tasks because they are preoccupied with taking care of other people. Cleaning your room, doing a full grocery run, vacuuming the entire house, cooking a delicious meal, or finally cleaning out your car can all be examples of self-care. All of this comes back to giving yourself permission to accomplish anything you want for the day. At times, all I want is to feel like my home is organized and clean. When my home is organized, I feel more organized overall. 4. Go vegan. We occasionally need to stop moving, as several INFJs noted. This is why, in a perfect world, we'd have at least two full days dedicated to self-care, one to exercise and accomplish something, the other to do nothing at all. I really mean it when I say nothing. This might resemble starting to watch the Great British Baking Show at the beginning of Season 1 and continuing until the third season. Another example of this could be reading a favorite book again or spending time on social media without feeling bad about it. Or bathing or applying a face mask. Basically, stay at home and do anything you want while your phone is in do not disturb mode. 5. Spending time with loved ones. You may have noticed that the self-care activities listed above do not involve any persons. It's wonderful to be by ourselves so we can take care of ourselves because INFJs tend to be everyone's caregiver. But sometimes, when we finally stop long enough to unwind, INFJs get caught up in the trap of feeling alone. Because of this, the INFJ can find that self-care involves spending time with someone who, for once, truly looks after them. This could be a lover, a pet, a parent or sibling, a best friend. Let them know in advance that you just want to unwind and take the day to take care of yourself. It's likely that they'll be relieved that you're finally taking care of yourself, and that they'll be content to watch a movie, read, bake, or do whatever else you choose in peace, or to listen if you need to vent. Because INFJs are so people-oriented, performing the aforementioned recommendations with their favorite person nearby is occasionally the most beneficial self-care activity. INFJs require a small taste of the compassion they readily offer to others. They also merit some me time. INFJ, take good care of yourself since the world needs what only INFJs can provide.